Hi YouTube, this is John Moeller again, and boy do I have a treat for you today. In this video, I'll show you how, with an incredibly simple setup, you can pick up aircraft radar. This is transmitted in a protocol called ADSB, Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, in which airplanes get information from satellites about their location, direction of movement, speed, altitude, and so on, and then broadcast it at 1090 megahertz, so those of us at ground level can pick it up and decode it. Really quick packets, super easy to, to decode. And how am I decoding this information and taking a look at it? Well, it's a really simple setup, as I said. There's a dipole, not even to the right length for 1090 megahertz up here. That's the dipole that came with one of my SDRs, the one we're looking at, not the antenna far away. I think it's about 10 inches, and for 1090, I'll probably have to make a um, monopole that's about 4 to 6 inches or so with a good ground plane with radials coming out of the bottom. But again, even with this simple, cheap set of rabbit ears, not even set to the right frequency, not purely vertically polarized, I'm getting plenty of planes. 10 to 15. I tried taking this outside to see if I could pick up more, but I'm getting 10 to 15 planes either inside the house, at the window, or outside on a picnic table. Okay, so that's the antenna. There are several adapters and cables that then link it to this Newelec NESDR Mini just to the right of my Chromebook. That's connected to the Chromebook USB port, and the Chromebook is running a wonderful, wonderful Linux package called Dump 1090. Dump 1090 operates in the command line. It was a little hard for me to get it to compile properly. I, I compiled it from source, but after adjusting the location of lib rtlsdr specify in the make file, it compiles great and it runs wonderfully. I'm looking here at the HTTP output, localhost port 8080. We can see a map with different planes on that map. And when I click on a plane, I should get its uh, flight information, International Civil Aviation Organization, hex code, altitude, speed, and coordinates. There's also an interactive mode we can see in the terminal. And from that, there's all these columns of information for each plane. There's the ICAO hex code, flight information, altitude and feet, speed and knots, latitude and longitude, tracking, which I think is, is direction, number of messages received, you know, some of these many, many packets, and how long these have been tracked. The flight information is really cool here. Let me copy some of these. SWA uh, 1991, let's see this one. I think that's Southwest Airlines, that would make sense. I'll go a new tab, and oops, yeah, I didn't copy that quite right. SWA 1991, and let's see if I can, oh. hmm, it's not pasting for me. SWA 1991. Southwest Airlines from Boston to Chicago Midway. And yeah. Okay, so see just, you know, with Wi-Fi, with my browser and the command line open or the map here, I can see where these planes are coming from and where they're going. Let's try oh, NKS 1168. Hopefully this copied. Yes, that copied. NKS 1168, Las Vegas to Cleveland, Spirit, nice and cheap. And where was that? NKS 1168. That was Southwest, makes sense going to Chicago. Yeah, that must be gone now. Southwest 178. I think I might need a reset this. Okay, I'll just type it in. Southwest 178. Okay, 
Atlanta to Chicago Midway. It already arrived. Maybe it's you know going somewhere else now. Headed back to Atlanta, possibly. Let's go down here. Don't have any flight information. I think this is American Airlines 658. Let's look that up. AAL 658. American, Chicago to Philadelphia. Or Chicago. Los Angeles to Philadelphia. 35,000 feet. And that sort of makes sense, I guess. Let's see if it said arrived. Oh, on time. It's coming at 434 p.m. Still got plenty of time. Okay, let's see this flight. Maybe a private plane? N9529G. N9529G. Okay, oh, it's a skydiving plane. Oh, fun. Some people hopefully don't throw up. I've never been skydiving, so what should I say about that? Okay, JIA 5280. Okay. PSA Airlines, Philadelphia to Indianapolis, departed. Huh. And it's leaving Indianapolis? Yeah, yeah, so it had arrived in Indianapolis, and now it looks like it's head back to Philadelphia. That would make the most sense. Okay, EDV 5019. Endeavor Air. Huh. Delta Airlines. Yeah, who knows? Okay, I'll just check a few more and then stop. RPA 3453. St. Louis to Newark. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. It looks like it's in flight. It Well, it is in flight. 1.30 to 4.57 p.m. And it's headed, I guess, east, southeast or so. Right where my cursor is. So that makes a lot of sense from the information I saw. Well, anyway, so that's a quick overview of using Dump 1090. Let me know in the comments down below if you need help installing this. It's, it's really easy once I tweak the make file. Super cool, and I picked up as many as 16 planes at one time. Thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful. And please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Bye now.